Brad Pop. Does he shut you in? Do you want to go out there? She wants to come out with her dad. <laughs> I can understand that, Bob. Back in her spot? Yeah. What a glorious day. Yeah. Do you think it will stay like this? Didn't it? Maybe summer's arrived. Maybe it's about Maybe time. Get my roof planters done. <laughs> Just getting ready to do a very short cruise to Brinklow. Pete's going to take the boat, I'm going to walk and get the car and then meet him there. We're going there for the electric boat show, the first electric boat show. It was quite exciting. We're in book three of the Nicholson's Guides. And in this episode, we'll be leaving Newbold on the outskirts of Rugby, through the Newbold Tunnel and then over the page to continue our journey on to Brinklow Marina. Just a short trip of about two miles. You ready to go, Pop? <laughs> Just a short one today. She's always ready to go, aren't you, Pop? We always fold the flaps of our canopy up when we we're, um, were cruising. That's so our... they don't hang down like that and get caught. The canopy maker, Wilson's of Kimber, he said that's one of the easiest ways of not getting too much damage to your canvas, is just fold them up when you're cruising. There you go, Dave. We had our, a viewer asked if we've got a name for our tillapin. What's his name? Dave. And who named him? Me. Because you wanted to call Hamish Dave. To call Hamish Dave. And I said you no. You wouldn't let me. You wanted to call the boat Dave. You wouldn't let me. No. So, tillapin, so there's Dave. Dave. Brinklow Marina. I am going to walk to pick up the car. It's about a five minute walk from this pub.
rapidly heading towards the um, closure at Easenhall. The uh, bank has collapsed, so the canal's been shut for a couple of months now. Uh, fortunately, Brinklow Marina is on this side of the closure. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> I checked in with the office and went to find the berth that they'd allocated us. And then checked Pete's location on my phone to see how close he was. I've just checked Pete's location and he should be coming into the marina any minute now. Um, and it's really windy so it's going to be a bit of a challenge getting into the berth.
just uh, some going. Yeah. I'll take that back down to as low as she goes. Yeah. Uh, right, that's that's about 60 RPM. And uh, that's what I use when I'm that's you. Uh, when I'm waiting over, to go in the lock. No, yeah, okay. that's our tick over. Yeah, which moves us at about 0.1 of a mile an hour. And we're using 0.03 of a kilowatt. We just stand that up. Yeah, brilliant. I go a bit faster. Oh, so watch that's, that now. Uh, okay, I can see our that's, prop. That's about two, yeah. two mile an hour now. Okay, that so that, that, is, that is cruising speed. Yeah. yeah. That would, be, that would be your tick over there. That would be our tick over on our diesel boat, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you can hear that the water is noisier than the motor. Yeah, I have it's asked incredibly Rob if quiet, they could make it? a silencer from the water. <laughs> and that that's, is that's so quiet. a kilowatt now, which means we've got another 11 kilowatts left. Wow. To, um, to step it up. So it's 800 amp hours yeah. in the 48 volts. Because it's approximately 30 kilowatts to, to mess about with and not have to worry about running the generator. For a more in-depth view of the show, check out the videos by Narrowboat Life Unlocked and David Johns of Cruising the Cut. I've put a link to their videos. <laughs> Meanwhile in Dorchester, I was with my mum doing nothing to do with narrowboats. A lot of our viewers will have seen our son Alex in some of our videos. He's been singing choral music since he was 10 years old with the Houston Children's Chorus and then the St Paul's Choral Scholars in Houston. He's been singing the music of English composer Sir John Rutter for years and finally had the chance to sing with him in the beautiful Dorchester Abbey. The Lord Bless You and Keep You was always the closing song of their concerts.
Thank you so much to everybody that supports our channel through Buy Me A Coffee and YouTube Super Thanks. And as always, thank you to all of our viewers. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and give us a like. And leave us a comment and tell us what you thought. And the truth